another two game series coming up. Let's we can talk about this upcoming series of the Tigers because it's the Tigers and it's got to be a two game series. It's the rule. <laughs> yeah, so dumb. So, so here we go talking about this two game series against the Tigers again. Uh, this time I'm going to be in Detroit. Um, I don't know, Jim. It, it's kind of like you look at these two teams; they're kind of similar. And you know, you look at this past month, and the Tigers bullpen has been really, really bad too. So I don't, I don't know how to make of this. Um, their offense has kind of kicked up this past, you know, in May, just like the Pirates have. Although Pirates are more recent, but um. Yeah, it's kind of like two. It's weird to say like two evenly matched teams to a degree. Yeah, I'll say the Tigers are twenty six and twenty seven in a crappy AL Central. Pirates are just a little bit below that in a crappy NL Central. Actually, I guess right. you can say the NL Central is kind of on a roll right now, especially with the way the Cardinals have been playing. Um, but yeah, very similar teams. Like they they rely on their their young pitching. Um, they they kind of have pieced together a team of prospects and, and veterans. So yeah, that, I, I think that's, I can buy that similar team. Um, amazing pitching matchup on Tuesday between Jared Jones and uh, Tarek Skubal. Um, Skubal has been AL Cy Young candidate worthy so far this season, six and one, 10 starts, um, 2.25 earned run average. He's been outstanding we all know how great jared jones has been so if you love pitching matchups like that's going to be a fun pitching matchup between two pitchers who are on on the top of their game right now lots of strikeouts really good stuff um that that should be a fun fun game tuesday night just seeing those two go back and forth because it doesn't get much more talented than than scoobal uh, Jones, that's, that's a lot of firepower on the mound. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And but, and but both Jim. like super young too. Scoobles twenty seven. I mean, this he's kind of put it all together now. This is his fourth year. I guess he's not as young as I I thought he was. Gosh, he's been around for four years, but he's like finally put it together, and he's he's really good. Yeah, well, that Tigers rebuild started quite a bit ago, Jim. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I know it's still kind of going, but um. Yeah, like you said, good matchup there. But also, you're talking about just the series. If it's going to be a two-game series, what better way to do it than to have Jared Jones and Paul Skeens as your two guys going to be in here? The Hundo boys. So, yeah, like that's going to be a good matchup altogether. But then uh, the very next game, it's going to be Paul Skeens, and he's going against Jack Flaherty. So, also having a really good year. Um, seems like Detroit's sending out their best. The Pirates going to send out their best. And see, so you can take these two games. Yeah, I didn't even realize how good of a year Jack Flaherty was having. He's definitely, mm-hmm. I mean, that's a resurgence that he's experiencing there in Detroit. So, yeah, should be should I, be two good pitching matchups. I could be wrong, and this could be different, but I think does Jack Flaherty, I think, lead um, in K-rate in baseball? No, oh, you'd have to look that up. I'm I'm looking up, but yeah, like to to go to your point, I know he's been up there. Yeah. Um, But yeah, Tigers lineup. There's, there's been a few people like Kerry Carpenter's on fire. Colt Keith, their, uh, their rookie second baseman. He's been playing really well as of late after having a, a, you know, a rough, a rough start. Um, Cause he, he started off awful, but he's been, he's been turning it on here lately. Um, Outside that, you know, Riley green, is cooling off a bit, but still overall a really good season from him. Yeah, I mean, you can you can see if, if you're comparing these two teams, right? There's a lot of like high draft picks, ton of prospect firepower, and it's just like, are they putting it together, right? Like you could say Riley Green, Riley Green and Spencer Torkelson are Nick Gonzalez and um, Henry Davis, right? Um, Riley Green's obviously established himself a bit more. Spencer Torkelson has been up and down, up and down, up and down, um, but still hasn't really established what you'd want to see out of a first overall pick. So, yeah, th- there's some there's some parallels here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I do want to go back to what I talked about with Flaherty. Jack is tied with Tyler Glass now for the second highest K rate as far as starting pitchers. 
There you go. So the Flaherty and Paul Skeen's day <laughs> uh, coming after, you know, Scooble and Jared Jones. Like, again, this is going to be a, a very good starting pitching um, series. So showtime. Should see, should see some strikeouts. Yeah. All four of these pitchers are known for their strikeout ability. For sure. I'm excited. <laughs> Yeah, and, and and also Comerica, that very much a pitcher friendly ballpark. So yeah, it, it, we could see we could see some some low scoring games, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully the Pirates can can tag Scooble. You know, I feel like they sometimes play really well against um, against good pitchers, and for the most part, this lineup is built to be good against lefties. Like we didn't really see it yesterday with Sale, but for the most part, this lineup has been really good against left handed starting pitchers this season. So. Yeah, let's see what happens. I'm with you. And then again, like with Detroit, their bullpen has not been good. Uh, oh, in in the month of May, like both bottom five bullpens. So you have really good starting pitching. You have actually some pretty solid offensive right now, uh, and, and bad bullpens. So I think uh, if anything, this will be entertaining and frustrating altogether. <laughs> Yeah, it could be one of those games where, like, at the end of six innings, it's one-one, and then it ends up seven-six. Right, final right. score. <laughs> Absolutely. Don't so, know uh, who the no. seven is, but yeah, mm -hmm. that's what you gotta watch. That's why you gotta watch. But again, uh, just to go in here, like this Pirates team. This, I mean, this actually speaks for both. You talk about you know the Centrals on both being weak, and I know like the Central and the NL is looking a little more interesting. Uh, but regardless, like these are two teams that if they're going to do something, they need to start stacking some wins. And, you know, this kind of matters. You know, they're playing well, respectively, outside of the bullpens for both of them. But like, they're playing pretty well right now. Um, get into the thick of things, get some wins here. And like, yeah, the Pirates can take one of two, still kind of stay in the course. If they can sweep, you know, take both games, it's going to do a lot. So, um, again, you're heading, you're starting to head into June right now. I know they say like, you know, April games don't matter. Well, May games are almost done now. You know, we're getting into June. Records are going to start mattering. Um, talk about urgency. So, so yeah, let's, uh, let's see what happens with this Tigers game. But I'm loving these matchups. Yeah, I mean, anytime Jones and Skeens are back-to-back -back in a series, we'll take that. As people who just want to enjoy watching a baseball game, I'll take Jones and Skeens back-to-back -back any day. MLB is going to be all over these, I feel. Yeah, there could be. Pitching yeah, Ninja but, is going to have all kinds of. Yeah, Jones, <laughs> Keen, back to back. The series. Yeah. It, doesn't get, it doesn't get much better. 